What's up you guys? We are still in the Cappadocia region of Turkey, specifically in the town of Urgup. This place is so charming and so cute. And we know that we made a part one, but there is just so much to show in this area that we decided to make a part two. If you haven't seen part one, we'll link it up right here so that you can check it out. We have a ton to show you today, so let's go. In part one of our Cappadocia series, we showed you guys the balloons and we woke up really early for that. So this time around, we are gonna go ahead and grab some coffees to start off this video because we are a little bit tired. I know, know that Zay certainly doesn't seem tired because she, she's always full of energy, but I need my coffee in the morning. So we're gonna do that first and then we're gonna head out and show you guys everything in this area. Although we are starting the video out in the town of Urgup, we will not be exploring this town too much on video. We already came here a couple of times yesterday, for example, and we checked it out last night. And it's very beautiful and we highly recommend coming and checking it out. There's a lot of beautiful caves. You guys can tell by the hillside over here, there's the cave homes. They're obviously not lived in anymore, but this town has a lot of very good restaurants. We've been to a few. We ate here last night actually after we finished filming our video. And uh, there's quite a lot to see as well as some shopping that you can do. So we definitely recommend checking this town out if you're here in the Cappadocia region. We are actually gonna be going to this restaurant right here or this cafe. It is called Terras Cafe and Restaurant. And we're gonna be having our coffee up there because you can go to the rooftop and we'll see how the views are from up there. And we'll get our little coffee to get refreshed for the morning. So we just sat down and we ordered our drinks. I got myself a Turkish coffee and it came on this heart-shaped platter with a little glass of water as well as a heart-shaped biscuit. I also got a plate of baklava. They gave us four pieces, so I guess we will be sharing that with Zay. <laughs> and Zay got herself a nice little chai over there. And we've been having the chai every single day pretty much for breakfast and it's been super delicious. But as you guys can tell, right behind Zay, the view is absolutely stunning over here. You can see the cave homes in the background and all around us and then the mountain ranges as well as the whole town from up here. So this restaurant was a really good pick and we recommend that you guys come here and check it out. We are able to enjoy this beautiful chai and this delicious looking coffee thanks to Chris and Kyle who are our subscribers, our viewers, our supporters. They bought us this through our link through Buy Me A Coffee and we just wanted to say thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. And for anybody who wants to support us, they can buy us a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash Attila and Zay. We would really appreciate it. But you don't have to just by watching our videos and liking the videos, you guys are supporting us and we really appreciate that. If you guys are looking for a place to stay while visiting this region, we highly recommend staying in Urgup. It's a super small, quaint, charming town. All the souvenir shops are here. All the tour offices and tour groups are here. There's a ton of restaurants to check out. It's a really nice area actually. And you can see there's like a ton of restaurants right here. We walk past a bunch of souvenir shops and the prices are actually not bad at all. Like we were walking around yesterday looking at the clothes and looking at some purses and they're way cheaper than what we've seen at the bazaar. And it's super nice. Now that we have had our coffee and we're feeling energized, at least I am, that's for sure. Me too. We are going to be heading over to Pasabag Valley, also known as Monks Valley, to check out some beautiful rock formations, some of the beautiful and world famous fairy chimneys around Cappadocia. And we're really excited, so let's head over there right now.
after that beautiful drive we have made it to the fairy chimney museums we're so excited to see all of these formations we're gonna go buy our ticket right now we have made it inside this beautiful area we paid 65 lira each to come in here which is a pretty good price i think we also have two things included in here i didn't realize this but he said that includes the pasabaglar area and also the zelv open air museum which is a bonus for us so we're really excited to check that out if you guys have seen our previous video here in Cappadocia, we showed you guys some of the fairy chimneys, but there are a lot all over the Cappadocia region. And this region, the Pasabag Valley region, has some of the most unique ones and the most fairy chimneys here. So that's why we're here to check them all out. And there are some quite unique ones that we're gonna be ending up showing you guys. Some that are formed like animals, like human faces or all kinds of different things so we're excited to check it out for ourselves and share it with you guys i have to say this area is one of the most stunning places that we've been during our entire trip or even in my life to be honest it's kind of like you feel like you're in a desert that's full of mountains and it's so unique it's a really really cool place to come and check out if you don't know what a fairy chimney is, I'm gonna try to break it down for you guys in simple terms, which I understand. Basically, millions of years ago, when ancient volcanoes erupted, they left these layers of ashes. And these layers of ashes ended up hardening. And those hardening ashes actually turned into a soft uh, rock-like formation called tuff. And with erosion, with like wind and rain and over time, it basically started creating these different formations which are now called fairy chimneys because of the way that they look basically and over time these beautiful things have appeared all over the place and some of them are as tall as a, as 130 feet according to zay a lot of these look like mushroom caps and i can see why she thinks that but they're absolutely stunning and very unique and some of them also have caves like dug into them you guys can see the one right in the middle up there has a cave up there and a lot of them also have caves and yes just like they mentioned these are like soft rocks so it's easy to dig all the caves in there and people actually used to live in these things back in the byzantine periods these fairy chimneys right here are spread across a really large area and you guys can explore freely walk around and climb up them and you guys can also go inside some of the caves which we will obviously be doing and you may be able to tell but our footage is not as silky smooth as usual and that is because when we were coming in here they actually made us put the gimbal away it is in zay's purse believe it or not and we thought about putting it back on when we came in but i think that's probably not the best idea we don't want to get kicked out and we're just going to follow the rules this time around <laughs> absolutely fascinating to me I think I said that in the previous vlog as well but it is just so interesting how they're all carved out of rock there's little beds there's little like spaces where people used to put things and do things and I don't even know it's just very crazy imagine that people used to hide out in here and live here and sleep here and now we're just exploring it and it's all empty as we we're making our way through the trail we noticed that there's these lights over here and they're basically pointed at all the rock formations so we can only assume that they're lit up at night time and you can only imagine how beautiful it would be driving by and seeing all these gorgeous fairy chimneys just lit up at night time it looks like there's a sign here saying there's a simon church right this way which we're going to make our way to right now and this valley was actually used as a re retreat by priests and monks during its period including a lot of many different monasteries churches chapels and settlements that were formed and created here so we're going to go and check those out right now so it seems like we have located and made it to saint simon's church it is right behind me it is one of the fairy chimneys that is carved out on the inside and it used to be a church 
and I gotta say one thing that's kind of a negative thing and I don't mean to sound like a complainer by any means Zay and I have visited a lot of museums so far here in Turkey and they've all been pretty good experiences but right now we're kind of lost in this area because when we came here there was no map provided or anything like that you do have options at every museum to buy a guide like an audio guide or a real person basically where well, you guys can see there's a tour group right behind me and that is an extra charge and we try not to do that we always try to explore at our own pace but we're kind of lost we're unsure what's where because the signs are not really like all over the place so you don't know if this is the church or not but we did find it and we saw that there is a sign on it that this is St. Simon's Church and we're still enjoying it but it's just a little bit of information for you guys just so you know maybe hire a guide or get an audio guide so it's easier for you to navigate these places another thing is that there are some cobblestone paths that are very clearly laid out on where you can explore but there's also a lot of paths that are just dirt roads that you can go down and you can see that a lot of people have gone down so it's quite easy to get lost like you can see right now we're on a dirt road and we are going to be heading up this way up to the mountain but we're unsure what's there there's no signage anywhere so that's kind of a frustrating part about exploring but nonetheless it is very stunning checking this place out we have just made our way up on top of this hill and we're a little bit out of breath but this scenery right here looks incredible it looks like we're on top of the moon or something the whole thing is just so nice and you can see the rocks that we're on are like smooth and all the shapes around us are just so interesting and you can see it's all around 360 views and the fairy chimneys are going up coming out of the ground all over the place I think that we are pretty much done exploring this specific area over here but our next challenge is going to be finding that infamous camel shaped uh, formation so we're going to go and ask somebody where it is because I think our ticket that we paid for here also includes that area and that area has that uh, camel formation that I'm talking about as well as some other very interesting formations so we're going to head back to the ticketing office and ask which way to go and we'll show you guys that right after. I asked the ticketing office where the camel is and he said it's down here but I let him know that I was not looking for this camel that I was looking for the fairy chimney or the rock formation I tried to phrase it in different ways but he could not tell me where it is and Zay and I have already passed it while driving so we know that it's near here so we're just going to drive and look for it ourselves because the guy at the ticketing office kept referring to this camel and he kept telling me that you can ride it but I said that that's not what I'm looking for but there was kind of a communication barrier so we're going to go ahead and look for it ourselves Thank you after reading this sign right behind me, everything makes a little bit more sense now. Where we were previously was Monk's Valley and now we are in Zelv, which is an old community from like the 9th and 13th century. So we're gonna go explore it and hopefully it's a little bit more direct than the last place. To be even more specific, where we're at right now is actually the Zelv open air museum and this place is looking very nice and we couldn't actually see it from the other area that we were at the monks valley because there was a mountain that was kind of covering it and check it out guys there are so many cave homes here i could explore these and be happy for the rest of my life <laughs> and there's also some signs although they're not really in english i don't think it might say a monastery or something we're gonna walk around and explore the place but it's looking extremely beautiful so far okay so so far the Zelv open air museum seems to be a lot better than monks valley because there are clear signs indicating what we're seeing and we're about to head into the column church right now
guys, I just had the most incredible idea. Walking through these beautiful places and landscapes and these cave homes, I just had an idea. Hear me out. If you guys give this video a like and we get enough likes, we're gonna come back to Turkey and I'm gonna somehow sneak in here and spend one night or maybe even two in one of these cave homes. All it's gonna take is one million likes, but I promise if we get the million likes, I will do that. If I get five million likes, I will run naked in this valley. I do it for free. <laughs> this museum was part of what we saw earlier. That's why we came to check it out and it was really cool. I think it was laid out a little bit better than the last place. Either way, they were both really, really cool to check out. Now we're going to make our way over to Devon Valley. That's where the camel chimney is supposed to be. <laughs> and let's just hope that it's there because I feel like we're a little unorganized right now. And we're kind of just going where we think the things are, where we, where we thought the things are, but Let's just see if it's there. After what feels like a treasure hunt and a little bit of a struggle later, we have finally made it to the spot that we were trying to show you guys. You guys can see, I hope, behind us, the camel-shaped fairy chimney. This is Deverant Valley, and this is where you wanna come if you're trying to check this spot out. And unfortunately, yeah, like Zay had mentioned, we're not as organized today as we usually would be, but uh, we still made it, so I guess it's not too bad and just make notes for yourselves if you're coming here is Deverant Valley. Uh, if you guys plan on coming down and walking around here, just be careful because Attila just fell. It's really slippery and really dusty. So I feel like I wiped out pretty hard back there. <laughs> you did. <laughs> but thankfully the camera is okay. I didn't drop it. I just fell on my back kind of and like my elbows kind of saved me from uh, falling and I was really holding on to the camera. I mean, I would hate dropping this thing, but nothing happened to it and I'm okay as well. But I feel like I am definitely not the only one who falls here. There's a lot of tour buses coming up and I actually just feel scared for the older people who are coming here because I think if they fall here, they might break a bone or something. I saw so. someone almost just fall again. Oh yeah. Check this out guys. People are holding on to each other because it's so slippery. <laughs> Right here is the famous rock formation right ahead of us. It looks like a camel, but to me, it also looks like something else. It looks like a snail. And I think Zay mentioned a different animal yesterday when we were just looking at pictures of it. Here it is in its full glory and everyone's running up here, taking photos and everything like that. You can see there's a guy running, taking photos, <laughs> but yeah. And there are hundreds upon hundreds of uh, fairy chimneys all around this area. Once we go up that mountain where that guy just ran up, you guys are going to see that there's hundreds of formations and it's really like it makes your imagination come alive looking at them and kind of seeing what they could be. And also the caves definitely make the imagination come alive, at least for me, for sure. This area and the formations almost kind of look like it's like an alien world out of a sci-fi movie or something like that. That's what it reminds me of and it's pretty cool. And right behind Zay, you guys can tell what I was talking about. There are hundreds of formations and a lot of people do say it looks like an alien world and a lot of people say it looks like the surface of the moon in some parts, but it's very interesting. It's something very unique. One of the coolest things in my opinion, just like Zay said a little bit earlier in the vlog, is just how diverse the landscapes of Turkey are. We obviously have not seen everything, but we've seen kind of the seaside and some other spots and every place we've been to has been different. And we haven't even been up north yet or far east or a lot of areas were unexplored so far, but this area is one of my favorites so far. It is so unique. It's something that I've never seen anywhere in the world but anyways guys i think that'll be it for today's video if you guys love this video leave a comment down below on what was your favorite part leave a like subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one